Is it a... <gasps> it is! A recipe! Is it a... <gasps> it is! A recipe! <laughs> Try giving this to your cow, Marty. Wow. What's in it? A secret wild family recipe. Well, thanks! I'm going to try this right now. Hey, Tara. Some of my volunteers were going to pass out some flyers. They want to introduce my ideas for a new, improved Fairhaven to the community. Let me guess. You need paper? You got it. It would be great to have you join the Marty party. <laughs> sure. No problem. That's great news. As quick as you can, we got to get moving. Here's your animal. Now, what would you like to call her? Waddles. Mm-hmm, that's exactly what I was thinking. I'm thrilled for Angus and Francis, but a bit nervous for the wedding itself. I met my ex at a wedding, so weddings always make me think of her. Welcome to my humble little shop. See? I really am a rare bookseller. Just, um, very rare books. I used to have fantasies about browsing books in stores like this. What kind of books are these? Many of them are incantation collections. There's some history of magic and magical theory mixed in, too. Oh, and detective stories. I love a good detective story. Uh, by the way, the last time I was in town, Kai mentioned he'd sold you a mulberry seedling. Do you have any extra mulberries? I'll check. What are you making? Oh, just a incantation. That's not vague at all. It's for, uh... Well, I, uh... <clears throat> you see... It's okay. You don't have to tell me. As long as you're not making, I don't know, some magical bomb. I would never. I was joking. Mostly. Let me see about those mulberries. Here you are, Wesley. Enough mulberries for an entire pie. Oh, 
No, what I'm making is much more interesting. And what you're making is... <sighs> oh, fine. Okay, okay. <sighs> I've been researching ways to lessen the effects of lycanthropy. That is... being a werewolf. I would prefer to be a little less, uh... werewolf-ish. But you have such lovely fur! <sighs> That's kind of you. However, being a were-creature comes with plenty of downsides. One of the texts I read suggested that an incantation made with ink of the mulberry might help. I hope you get what you want. <sighs> Me too. Here, take this. Fair is fair. Hi there. I'm sure you recall the warm way my husband welcomed you into our town. Yes, that was very nice. He's truly the best candidate to bring our community together. I know he would appreciate your support. <sighs> this is such a busy time of year. School has started, the election is soon, and of course everyone in town still needs the support of Town Hall. How do you manage having so many jobs? It's fine. I'll sleep in winter. Well, I just talked Angus and Francis out of using calla lilies in their wedding. Calla lilies are funeral flowers. Everyone knows that. Yup. I, uh, I absolutely knew that. I'm really thinking about voting for Marty. 
And it's not just because I haven't had to source meat from Off Island since he got here. Wait, do you think he would give up the ranch if he became mayor? Uh, absolutely he would. Immediately. Uh-oh. Maybe I've miscalculated this. Sophia told me that Julia thinks I'm cool. Which is honestly very sweet. Oh no. Am I becoming a kid person? I need to process this. <sighs> when fall starts, it's pumpkin this and pumpkin that. But who cares when Oktoberfest is around the corner? As Bruno can no doubt tell you, there's nothing like a good German Marzen beer. Prost! So, Francis and Angus are getting hitched, huh? That must be why he asked me about sourcing currants and almond essence for fruitcake when it's not even winter yet. Why would he want to make fruitcake for a wedding? Bruh, I don't know. It's a thing in Scotland, I guess. A gross thing, if you ask me. So I hear Francis and Angus are planning a wedding. That's right. They're making it official. <laughs> official. Am I ready for bed?
The time for walking slow has passed. Lighten my feet and make me fast. Things I want, but don't yet have. Get off the ground and in my bag. Tara, just the person I was hoping to see. Do you have milk and eggs to spare? Aren't those essential ingredients for bakers? Well, yes, but I wanted to make marmalade pudding for the rehearsal dinner, and it's best with fresh ingredients. Mmm, marmalade pudding. Sounds British. Uh, excuse you. It's a classic Scottish dessert. My grand taught me her own recipe. Help me out, and I'll make an extra pudding just for you. It's good to see someone engaging with the community notice board. Ah, there's one of my favorite citizens. I want to make a banner to hang up at our victory party in the mayor's mansion. Auto soft, Fairhaven strong. Oh, victory party. Feeling confident, I see. Why wouldn't I be? 
Has anyone said they actually plan to vote for the new guy? They hardly know him! <laughs> of course they don't! Anyway, can you supply me with some fabric for the banner? Sure. No problem. Excellent! It's going to be the best banner any mayor ever had. Huge! Sweet, helping out a fisherman past his prime. Jeez Louise, Tara. Are you sure? Ha, I didn't think anyone would actually find this for me. If I didn't come to the diner regularly, I bet there's some transplants I would have never met. If I were a poet, I would write entire books of poetry about slop chips. Thank you, Tara! White and lets you play cool tunes. Uh, cheat music. Juliet's ring a bell. N no. Ben, be honest. What? I, I didn't take it. Emmy did. I don't even know how I know that. I didn't see her do it. And she'll be mad if she finds out I told. Don't worry. You did the right thing. Do you think Angus or Francis will wear dresses at their wedding? I don't think so, but it would be fine if they did. Cool. Maybe I'll wear a wedding dress if I get married. Hemi says dresses are the worst, but I think they're fun. So, who do you like in the election, Sebastian? Well, I'm not old enough to vote, but I hope Marty wipes the floor at auto. <sighs> Back to the grind. What? School? No, I'm learning how to grind down ramps on my skateboard. I keep rolling off the edge instead, though. Fall would be my favorite season, if it weren't for school. If I asked you about Juliet's cheat music, you would say... <laughs> What does that silence mean? That I have nothing to say. Are you sure it didn't mysteriously end up with your stuff? That's silly. Emmy. Silly. I might have to step up my game. Maybe the coven knows of a magic solution to my problem.
I do wish that we had candidates who were a little bit, well... What? To put it in mayor speak, more representative of our beautiful town's diversity. I'll use store-bought ingredients if I have to, but... No need. Here. Fresh eggs and fresh milk! Ha! You're worth a true baker's dozen. Come by in a day and I'll show you what I've whipped up. I've been reading about old Russian harvest festivals now that it's finally fall. My dad may have been a deadbeat, but I still like learning about the place he came from. Maybe if I can find a potion that lasts for an entire flight, I could even go there someday. If you decide to go into ranching, you can sell me any animals you have. I'll give you cash and some of the meat. Uh... I guess it's tough coming from the city to learn how the sausage is made. Yeah, where I come from, it's, uh, it's not talked about so much. I understand. There's lots of stuff we don't talk about in the open here, too. Like what? I have to get back to work. That medicine you gave me worked a miracle! Mona Lisa is back in action. Just look at this fresh milk. Oh, and here. You should have this for your trouble, too. Happy to help. Do you have my paper yet? We have to get the word out about Fair Haven of the Future. Yes, here it is. Thanks. Now, which side do you think I should use for the photo? My right or my left? I'm joking. I don't have a bad side. I wasn't sure if Francis and Angus were going to make it long enough here to get married. You thought they'd break up? No, no. I thought they'd move away, establishing two businesses at once. Well, they're beating the odds financially and romantically, so good for them.
journeyman. You wouldn't happen to know a spell to help me find something that's missing, would you? I do happen to know what you're looking for to find what you're looking for. <laughs> you need to learn some scrying. Which is what? It's basically looking into a magic mirror and asking it to find stuff for you. It works on anything. People, possessions, whatever. Witches usually use pools of water because water has its own magical properties. A basin of water is best so you can more easily contain the spell. Build one of these scrying basins in your sanctum and then pour this potion into it. Say the name of who or what you're looking for and it'll do the rest. I found something. <gasps> A recipe! Hmm, how long should I soak for? I'm all out of I could make or Is it time for bed?